I have a problem. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. I'll tell you anyway. I want to install solar panels, as solar panels don't cost much. Ok, then I can enjoy free electricity at home. But how about night when sun decides to take a break? In that case, solar panels will say no power for you tonight, go light a candle till morning. Well, in order to store energy when there is no sun, I should use batteries, which is the most expensive part of green energy and they get old over time. Ok, if it's expensive, can I make one at home? Let's see. Oh wow, chemistry? Oh no 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 no, I am bad at chemistry. Let me try it with mechanics. Imagine, I have a home, then I installed solar panel on its roof, sun is shining above solar panel and it's generating electricity, everybody is happy until sun gets away. In order to store energy, I will put a generator as well as motor at the same time and put high torque gear ratio. I will put heavy object near motor, in this case it will be cheap and heavy rocks. There will be pulley above and I will link heavy object and motor with a string. Oh no, with a sticker one. Now, if I connect my solar panel to my motor, they will rotate with high torque because of high gear ratio. Idea is, when sun is shining, the motor will lift heavy rocks up using solar power. When sun takes a break, that heavy rocks want to go down by running my electric generator. And you can see I can generate electricity when there is no sun. Most interesting part of gravity battery is that you can easily expand battery capacity by adding more weight. That's very cheap. So that's the idea. Let's see how it goes. Believe me, we're gonna have so much fun with this. Initially, I wanted to use 775 DC motor for the project, because I had many of them. But there was a problem with the motor. If you measure RPM of the motor, it's so high, about 16,000. I want at most 4 rotations per minute, which means I need to reduce the speed by 4000, so my gearbox should be 1 to 4000 ratio, which might be impossible to rotate back to generate electricity. So the idea of 775 DC motor is cancelled. And I found this tiny motor from my motor's box, I remember that I ordered it from AliExpress, it's 620 rpm and 12 volts version. Now, I need to print the parts including gearbox. By the way, Creality provided me their new 3D printer Ender 5 S1 to print those stuff. Thanks Creality for such a great machine. It helped me with my strong patches 3D prints. I only used Ender 5 S1 and my Ender 3 Max for the 3D prints in this video. The print quality was outstanding. It's a stackable planetary gearbox by Let's Print YouTube channel. I may need to reduce or multiply gear ratio after building the generator. So this gearbox fits perfectly for my case. Each stack reduces 3 times of speed, 
so as you stack up, you get slower speed, and you can do it infinite times, as he says. Literally, you can stack up this gearbox to the moon. <laughs> I got this kitchen wood to install everything on. It should be a strong wood, because all weight will depend on it. I used my Atomstack X20 Pro diode laser to make a hole on this thick wood. Now enjoy the footages of building generator, but before, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. They provide plenty of services including PCB prototyping, assembly, flexibility, PCB and so on. They can do different kind of PCBs depending on your project. Even you can do CNC milling, 3D printing, laser cutting and injection molding. Simply upload your CAD file and make an order from them. If you want to know price of your project, just use their handy calculator before ordering for instant quote. They have thousands of reviews and clients worldwide. Visit pcbway.com for more information. Now we continue to the video. So, I hang 2 dumbbells per 6 kg, overall 12 kg weight to test the gearbox. Please note that I have attached only 3 stages of gearbox for now, meaning that gear ratio is just 1 to 2 27. It didn't have any problems to lift up, but the problem is that it's not going down with this weight. Of course, it's an important point because weight should make our gearbox run backwards to generate electricity. If I add some weight with my hand, it works, so I should add more weight for it. Now all I need to do is to give a little initial help. I have connected bunch of LEDs to check the power. I need to change two things now. First, add more stages to my gearbox because we need to lift more weight to store more power. I think diameter of roller pulley is small, so it can't get enough torque to rotate the generator. We need to print bigger one. Looks like I made a mistake in 3D printing. It got cracked easily while installing to the shaft. How? How did they think that was okay to even put it in the... And I printed it with new page filament with stronger print settings. You can see it's a lot heavier than the old one. And a little bit longer. Because our roller is bigger now, placement of hole is different. That's why I need to laser cut again. Thanks to Atomstack for sending me such a powerful laser. It can cut thick wood with bits of 17mm easily. It helped me a lot in this project. The next problem. How I will bind the rope to the generator. If I put the generator down, that heavy weight might lift it up as we just screwed everything to wood only. So I need to align the rope below generator. In order to achieve that, I need to put some rollers below generator to send the rope up. You can see it's ready. Two rollers will take the rope below generator and send it upwards. I chose this rope to use with my generator and I made a detector with IR sensor to detect if the rocks are lifted to all the way up. Because if we don't stop it at the right place, gearbox will get broken. Idea is I will paint the rope to black till where gearbox will lift everything up. When sensor detects a black color, controller will shut down the motor. I've made a switch box for motor that has three switches. Note that only one switch should be on at a time, otherwise something get burned. The first switch connects the motor to solar power to lift up. The second one brings down by battery power in any case. The third one connects you to pure mechanically generated power. I'm using cheap Chinese solar controller to give the motor smooth power. 
notes that I'll be charging a battery with extra solar power for my electronics to work, but I won't be using it for the motor. Last thing, I made this pulley for upwards in order to slip the rope freely. It's so rigid, I think it can't hold me as well. Ah, uh, finally, it's ready now. I'll take everything needed for this project and go home from this studio. It's midnight, I'll be starting the test from tomorrow morning. I successfully installed a solar panel. Now I have to bind the roller on this platform. I don't know how much weight I will hang on this thing. That's why I wanted to test it with my own weight. To be honest, I was a little bit scared. But I gotta do this. Something wasn't right. Roller is broken now. I have some doubts on this 3D printed pulley. So I bought metallic one. It's so rigid, rotates freely and it's written that it can hold up to 160 kg, which is way more heavier than my target. Now if you inspect the video that pulley was broken, I found that rope was not strong enough to hold my weight. So it failed at worst. That's why I went to rope market to get stronger but thinner rope. Now I have to test it again. Alhamdulillah, it worked and could hold me. In order to stick the generator to ground, I used 4 blocks of concrete, each weighing 21 kilograms. So our heavy rocks can't pull the generator from ground. Let me check if the wood can handle this much weight without splitting in half. Wow, it could handle the job so much easily. Shout out and thanks to my mom, wife and my uncle's wife for saving these big bags for this project. Don't worry, I'm not going to hold him in this gravity battery. I'm just testing the strength of the bag with my brother. And for reference, he's 61 kilograms. Now I have to fill my bag with rocks. I got rocks from my neighbor, because soon he wants to start building. But it was little bit hard process. Luckily I have recorded it.
So I have two banks now. One weights 33 and the second one does 35, overall 68 kilograms for my generator. I have linked the rope to my bags and other side to my generator roller. So it's daytime now. I think I can start lifting the weight, meaning I will start charging my gravity battery. First of all, we should be very careful and please do not try this at home, because one mistake can make 68 kilograms of rocks to lie on you. It's lifting very well, but motor is getting hot and gearbox is also loud, like it's in pain. So I lower the weight. I got one rock that weighs 9.5 kilograms out of the bag. Shaft connector is broken. I think I have to 3D print again, but little bit stronger. Oh, sh Here we go again. It was long print. Thankfully, Ender 5 S1 has a remote monitoring feature, so I could know if the print was done or not at home. Finally, Ender 5 S1 has finished its 3D printing. This time I used it stronger print settings. You can see it's more rigid now. And to avoid shaft rotating inside the print, I changed the design. So now we can insert screws through the shaft, shaft connector and roller. It has no way slipping this time. I have made several holes to the steel shaft also, so screws can pass through it. I have set up everything but it's night already and our battery has not been charged by solar power. I hope tomorrow I would be using solar power at midnight by charging my mechanical battery daytime. I think tension of wire was not enough to hold the wood. It was going up slowly, so I put another piece of block. I don't know, but day by day I am afraid to test this machine. That's why I lowered the weight again. So overall weight of rocks is 46 kilograms now. Now we should be safe to test the machine. Finally, it failed. Our heavy weight fallen back to ground. Fortunately, I wasn't below it. It even shaked my camera. But what actually happened? Let's inspect the video I took. Fortunately, gearbox didn't fail. It was my mistake that I didn't put screws to cover off gearbox. I have put cover and screw it. Now we can continue. I stopped at this height because my tiny motor got little bit hot. While the motor is cooling down, I have put these mattresses in any case our rocks fall down. Because last time it cracked the concrete so hard. Now motor is cool, we can continue. Finally, it's up. Now I should get prepared for night party using the lights powered by my gravity battery.
It's almost 11 p.m. I think it's time to turn on our gravity battery. Let's do it. <coughs> I talked in this video, but noise of gravity battery blocked my voice. I think the DIY rock battery is a creative attempt to store solar power using gravity, but it has limitations for everyday use. Chemical batteries are preferred due to their higher energy density despite being more expensive. Scaling up mechanical batteries could be more effective for large scale energy usage. If you found this video helpful or funny, leave a comment below. But hold on, making this kind of videos costs a lot of money. I would be really happy if you could support me on Patreon, so I can do easily more experiments without worrying about my wallet. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next videos inshallah.